I, I've been seeing something though, and again, I'm talking about the vaccinated population in particular, um, that um, there's a bit of a lag in the psychology um, in some groups of people in how they're thinking about COVID. Um, and there was a really good article in the Washington Post that I read and thought about for a long time um, and how um, vaccinated and boosted people who've been working really hard with masking, staying outdoors at the restaurants, doing everything to try to avoid the getting the virus are now um, getting infected. You know, maybe they went to a cookie making party over Christmas with a couple, three other families and they got infected then. And it really hits them um, and um, as like they, they've had a total failure. Um, and I, I really implore people to start to change a little bit the way you think about getting COVID. Um, would you be upset and horrified and feel like a failure if you got a cold? Probably not. Would you feel that way even if you got the flu during, right during the middle of flu season? Probably not. And so that's the way to start thinking about COVID. Now this is for the vaccinated population, particularly for the vaccinated and boosted population. So get boosted, get vaccinated. That's one thing you can do. Two is that you can modify some of what you're doing. Do we need to come back to a total lockdown like we were at the very beginning of the pandemic? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's really congruent or uh, with sliding in to COVID being a endemic respiratory infection that causes colds for people. Um, but so if you want to have a, a New Year's celebration, you can have it. I'm not saying party like it's 1999 to quote Prince, but, uh, but you know, if you want to get together with a couple, three other families um, and you know their vaccine status, I think that's fine. Can kids go to school? Yes, I think they can. Um, what's going to determine whether schools can stay open or not um, is really uh, going to be uh, the impact of, uh, of, uh, of Omicron and, and COVID on the workforce. So, you know, how many teachers can come to work? How many substitutes can you get in um, when people get sick? Um, and, uh, you know, if half the kids in the class are home with colds and flus, um, that's a big impact on everybody else coming in. So we'll have to see, but that's going to be the main impact. That's going to be the main thing to watch for schools is operations and how um, Omicron and COVID affects uh, the workforce. Um, and then, uh, but you know, other than that, you need to wear your mask, continue to wear your mask. Uh, when you're out and about um, and um, think about what you're doing. Do I really need to go to that book club meeting this month? Well, maybe I'll skip it. Maybe I'll do it virtually. Um, and um, um, so those are things that I think that people should be thinking about for the next month. For workplaces, for universities, for places um, uh, that want to have socials and lunches and stuff. If you want to have a meeting, um, take the food out of the equation, um, move the food outside if you still want to have it uh, and get out the patio heaters because that's when the masks come down. Have your meeting masked and have your people come together masked. Try to keep the size down. You know, if you're starting to get up over 50 to 100 people, it's probably too many.